May. So the viewers vote is in and counted. And actually, just as I expected, my boy 0071 GoldenEye topped the Gaslovs Games vote for which Nintendo 64 game to be included in my Why We Love the N64 Wii. So I'm actually really glad the game won because I did actually really want to talk about it and to be honest I probably would have done a GoldenEye video at some point in the future if not now. So GoldenEye 007 is just an absolutely fantastic game and to all of us that actually played it or got involved with the game at the time when it came out just to have got a passion for this game and I think if you think back then like compared with where we are now like we're in a world at the moment where Call of Duty has probably like dominated some gamers consoles over the last 10 years now personally for me I don't really play shooter games anymore and this is because I think I've played so so many over the years but if you track back through the consoles and back through the games in my opinion it all goes back to GoldenEye so this is the first time that I think we had an actual 3D model first person shooting game and it was just something that's so 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 special for the first time ever walking around just seeing that gun in front of you and oh, the guns first of all with GoldenEye we have to actually talk about the guns because the guns handled so so fantastically now each gun whether it was one of the handguns or one of the two-handed guns they handled so fantastically you could almost feel the recoil of the gun when you're shooting even without a rumble pack a rumble pack you say yeah that's something that used to exist no rumble included as standard it was an addition to the controller for the nintendo 64. each gun was just so unique in its own way with the way they actually fired the noise they made whether it was the different zoom ability that you had on the gun we managed to get a really good balance and difference in the way that the guns behaved given their unique nature whether it was an up-close power pistol or whether it was a long-range sniper it was the first time we really had that experience where you could actually feel like you were Bond, you were 007 and you were on those missions and it's because the game just immersed you in this 3D environment you really really felt like you were on the mission now this is quite an upgrade from games that we would have played prior to this whether it was anything else that came out on the PlayStation 1 or whether you're talking about the older games where we're playing adventures in like 8-bit or 16-bit graphics. Although today's graphics, let's be honest guys, by comparison if you look at the N64 and a lot of the games now anyway, um, they haven't aged that well. If you actually look at the graphics, the 3D models, this is early, primitive, really early 3D game modeling and they look pretty awful. I mean. This was cutting edge at the time, they still looked a little bit blocky, but it hasn't aged well. But the thing is with GoldenEye, it still holds up today, and it's just because it got so much right with it, it was just so fantastic. Now no one, no one ever can talk about this 007 GoldenEye without talking about the multiplayer. So first of all, Nintendo 64 was fantastic for the fact that it came built in with those four ports for your controllers. Now prior to this we were used with like console gaming for Super Nintendo, you'd only have your two controller ports, you had to buy one of those multi-tap, but Nintendo 64 was geared up for four player gaming right out of the box. So four controllers could go straight in, you could team up with your mates, whether it was at a house party or a gathering, you'd all bring your controllers, plug in, and then you had four players, four player gaming on GoldenEye. And oh, the multiplayer. Guys, the multiplayer, I think, is what just took this game from an A game rated, an A get rated game to an S rated game. Who that played and owned GoldenEye 007 back in the day didn't know and love the multiplayer. I mean, let's be honest, some of us gamers aren't necessarily renowned for being the most social and having lots of friends, but back then we were cool in school and we did have some mates, so we did get to pair up and everyone had battles of GoldenEye 007. I don't even care, whoever you were, you always knew someone else that had the game and you could always get some team games going. It was just fantastic. Until yeah, until somebody picked that guy. Odd job. 
you'd be running along, running around the corner, and suddenly you'd be approached by this little midget that would just pop out around the corner. You'd be popping shots, and they go straight over his head. It's been confirmed in more modern times with the game, but yeah, actually the hitbox on this character, Odd Bod. Odd Job was a much shorter character, so the hitbox was a lot less and you actually had to physically get up your reticule and aim downwards to be able to hit the guy whereas he could just hit you straight away. So it was always a race in multiplayer who could get to odd job to play as the little dwarf as soon as possible because he, he'd have much better odds of uh, getting a lot more kills and not getting hit. Also with GoldenEye, the game was actually relatively long. You had quite a lot of different chapters which had different missions within them to achieve. Uh, normally you'd always start off playing as agent where you manage to get by, you manage to pick up a lot of ammo and you really kind of got used to the level. But then you'd be able to play on the secret agent and the double O agent and guys. I used to be quite quick with the controls. Um, the controls were a little bit hard to actually master on this game with strafing using the C button or the D pad depending on whether you're playing it left or right handed and then you'd use the joystick to do most of your aiming and actually momentum your movement forward and backwards. But it was quite hard to get used to and I was actually quite good at controlling and I actually found it really, really hard to play the harder modes. Like, Secret Agent I could get through, but when it comes to Double O Agent, you're getting almost headshotted every time you step out, and I actually never completed the game through on the hardest difficulty setting. So, there's my view guys. For me, GoldenEye just had a bit of everything. It was genre defining, it was game defining, it was console defining, it was a console seller at the time, and it just meant everything to everyone that owned, played, and fell in love with the game and it's still great to play today. I mean, like I said, it hasn't aged the best, but I've had, a, I've had a great crack setting it up and playing again for some of the footage for this video, because I haven't played it in a really, really long time. I'm gonna, gonna have a full playthrough, I think, on the agent mode and, and just enjoy it now, but I, I still do love it as much as I've ever loved it before, and I'm gonna get some of those cheat codes on, because that was another thing that was so cool about the game. You could input these cheats and you could jump straight in on like paintball mode and just splatter paint everywhere or you could do the big head mode and yeah there was just hours of fun to be had with this game um, it's got a lot of replayability and I just love it so I'm glad this one and the little vote that I did to get up to the top so yeah Mario 64 and GoldenEye covered for this week's uh, why we love the N64 videos fantastic I'm gonna have to be doing some more guys I'm going to do some more on the N64, because I know there hasn't been enough Nintendo on the channel lately. So I'm going to be doing some more polls, and the way I think I'll do it this time is I'll do it one game versus another game, and then the winner of that category will move into the next category until we get down to decide the final and the next game that I'm then going to cover. I think that'll be quite fun, so we can have a little voting challenge before I do the next video for these. Anyway guys, I think that's me spent, I've said everything I want to do. Um, just go and get the game guys, if you've got the console and you never had the game, what were you thinking? Go and pick it up, it's dead cheap now, or if you've got it laying around in your attic, just go and get it out, set it up, you're still going to love it, you're going to have a blast. Just make sure you set it up properly, so that the Nintendo 64 outputs the graphics as good as you can, because then it's, it's still a little bit blurry, but if you need any tips on setting any of it up as always, just give me a shout. Well, I've got other videos on the channel about setting up and upscalers and things like that that I use. But um, yeah, as always, guys, who loves games? Guess loves games. You love games. We love Nintendo games. Retro gaming forever. Nice one. See you in the next video. Yes, mate. <laughs>